Hello world, welcome to this video. We're going to solve a leak code problem. The problem we're going to solve today is called decode XOR array. We're gonna do this one in Python. So first I'll explain the problem and then we'll talk about the solution and jump into the code. So let's get started. All right, it says there's a hidden integer array called array that consists of non-negative integers. It's encoded to another array called encoded with a length of n minus one, such that encoded i equals array at position i xord array at i plus one. For example, array equals one, zero, two, one, then encoded to one, two, three. This can be tricky, so my, the explanation is also tricky, so hopefully during the solution this will make more sense. Uh, you have to know a little bit about cryptology to understand how the XOR function works. So we'll talk about that. And this, uh, this formula they give here is, is key to how do you solve it. So you're given the encoded array and you're given in the first integer of the first element of array, position zero. It wants you to return the original array and it can be proved that the answer exists and is unique. All right, so let's take a look at the example. And then I'll explain what the XOR, XOR function does. All right, so what it, here, they give us an encoded array of one, two, three. And then the array that they want us to solve for, they give us the first integer, which is right here, one. And then they want us to find the zero, two, and one here. So how do we do that? All right, well, let's first look at this formula here. And, the, and we're gonna change this around a little bit, but let's come over here and write this out. Encoded at position i equals array at position i, and then XOR array at i, position i plus one. So this is how we compare these numbers. And for an example, we'll just use A, B, and C. So it's kind of like a math equation. And they're gonna give us the A variable and the B variable, and we need to find C. So let's reposition this so we can calculate C. So that would be over on this side of the equation. So array at position I plus one is going to equal array position i xord to this one we'll move this one over here this one goes over here and so this would be encoded at position i okay so that's that's kind of our formula so that would be c equals b plus a or b xord a and just a little tip here the xor function is also that caret, which is a shift six on your keyboard. And so that's what does the XOR. So let's talk about the XOR. What is that? Well, if you go to this site here, it's called binary decimal hexadecimal converter. And we'll put in the numbers here like zero, and we're gonna change it to binary. I'll put this link in the description so you have it. All right, so we're gonna put in zero and we're gonna get zeros. But to make this simple, we're just gonna use the last four. All right, so zero equals four zeros. And then we'll do one and it's gonna be zero, 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 one. So one is gonna be zero, 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 one. And we're just gonna do the first three numbers because that's all we need in this problem. So then this one is gonna be 0010, and then three is gonna be 0011. All right, so how do we XOR a number? Well, let's, take, let's go back to the problem and see what numbers we're going to compare. So in this equation, uh, what they're gonna want is we need to calculate, we're given the array at position i, which let's write down the array. We have encoded, they give us one, two, and three. 
and then array, they give us the first number as one. So if you use this formula, encode it at position i, so that's the first one when we loop through this, it's gonna be one. So we're gonna have that, oops, we're gonna have a, so we're gonna bring that one down here. And then we are looking for array at position i. So they give us the first one, so we're gonna do xor on that one. And then we don't have the, uh, the array at i plus one, that's the one we need to find out. So what is that one? All right, so how do we XOR these two? Well, one XOR one. Well, we have to take the binaries here. So we would have zero, 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 one, and we're just stack them on top of each other so you can compare, zero, 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 one. And what you do is this, you compare this number and this number. If it's the same, it's zero. This number, this number, zero. This number, this number, zero, this, and they're the same. So they're all zeros. If it's different, then it would be a one. So you only have a one or a zero. So in this case, we have all zeros. So our that's our answer, C, and we put that in the next array, zero. So if you come back over here, it's zero. So let's do the next one, two. So we're gonna put two, so we did this one already. Now we're gonna do this one. And we got the zero, so we're gonna do it against that one. So two, and zero. So if we come and look at two, we have zero, zero, one, zero, and then zero is all zeros. And if we do that, so we get zero, zero, and then this is one, and this is zero. So what is that over here? That's a two. So then we put in two. All right, and then we do the last one here, three. So if I'm running out of room here, three and two. So three is zero zero one one and two is zero zero one zero so if you do the same zero 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 and one and that gives you one so this should be our result one zero two one and that's correct one zero two one Hopefully that helps. I didn't find uh, too many good explanations, so hopefully this will help you get to the code solution. So let's talk about that now. So I kind of alluded to what we're gonna need to do is for loop through this encoded. And we're also going to need to set the number that they gave us here. So they gave us this encoded, and they also gave us this first integer. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start by setting the, creating this new array and inputting the first integer they gave us. And then we'll do our for loop through the encoded. So for i n encoded, that will loop through there. So now what we need to do is we need to find this uh, c in this part of the equation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an array.append and that will add it to the array. So array.append, each time we find the XOR of B and A in this case, when we find that result, we want it to add it to this array. So keep adding here. So that's the first part. Then the next part, what we want to do is find this one here. So that would be array at position uh, array and actually, I want to do minus one. And in Python, array minus one means the last digit of the, of the array. So it could be this one if it, there's only one in there. So it'd be minus one. When we add a number to it, then it's going to move to the right. So minus one just captures the last, the last uh, number in the array. And then we want to XOR. So we'll do the XOR function. And we want it to do uh, compare it against the I number that we're looping through the encoded. So that's right here. So encoded I. XOR for the array number. All right, and then all we need to do is return our result. And let's go ahead and run it. Oh, not result, array, sorry. Then go ahead and return array. And it is successful. 
All right, hopefully that explanation helps. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, and thank you for watching this video tutorial, and I look forward to doing more of these in the future. Have a great day. So long.